breaking news from the Fox 59 newsroom. And on this 7:30 on Friday, we continue to update you on that breaking news happening right now. At least 35 Indiana schools moving to an e-learning schedule today. This follows statewide bomb threats. Lindy Thaxton following this force from our newsroom at this hour. Lindy, what have you learned? Well, Daniel and Angela, a lot of parents and teachers scrambling at the moment to figure out their day as dozens of districts have moved to e-learning. They're delayed. They're closed after overnight bomb threats. At 550 this morning, I got a message from a local nurse and she was asking what's going on. I just got this email about my daughter, Noblesville Schools just sent it out about a threat, so we got on it right away. We get this message from Marnie Cook with Noblesville Schools, which then showed us the scope of this situation. Marnie Cook said we had an anonymous bomb threat that came in overnight that was sent to approximately 40 school districts throughout Indiana. Out of an abundance of caution, we have called an e-learning day so we can work with local law enforcement and other appropriate agencies to further investigate this threat and ensure the safety of our schools. Now, as for which schools are closed or delayed or on e-learning, it's best to just check with your local district because this information continues to come in as we go. The emails are just kind of coming in nonstop. We do know Center Grove is closed. Lebanon is e-learning. Shelbyville is e-learning as well. And Marion Community Schools has said they understand many students don't have the school provided iPad at home to do e-learning and to watch out for information from your teacher later this morning. And that's something a lot of districts are likely running into right now. We have checked in with state police. There are no details on the specifics of the threat yet. Our assignment desk has also reached out to the Department of Education, the governor office, also the State Teachers Association, to get any information that we can. Stay with us here online, also our social media. We will keep you posted. For right now, I'm Lindy Thaxton, Fox 59 News.